Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. We've just arrived at our cheetah project. We've got a really nice little cabin that we're staying at. Um, but to get here was, was crazy. Like we got dropped off on the road and then these couple of guys come and picked us up in this four before and we literally was going through the field. It had been raining, so it was like all muddy and stuff. So it's pretty crazy, but this place looks amazing. It's, it's brand new. It's only been done about a year. It looks absolutely beautiful, but come and have a look at our cabin. So this is our kitchen area, which we haven't got a fridge. We haven't got any cooking equipment. No, we don't have a fridge or a kettle. These are just empty cupboards, but... We've got the space, anyway. Yeah. We've got a sink. Um, and then we've got a big seating area, which is cool, so we can chill out. We've got aircon, which we didn't have in the last place. Um, we've got our own bathroom, which is nice. We never had that in the last place. Um, so that's cool. And we've got our own nice bedroom. Got a double bed again. Been sleeping in single beds. Georgia was happy about it. I wasn't. So it's nice to get back into a double bed. So this is another room, but Apparently there's no one else coming. So we've got the lodge to ourselves. So, happy babe? Yeah, the lodge is stunning. The surroundings look amazing. Obviously it's raining, so we'll film that another day, but. But no, you should see the lodge up the top. It's beautiful. Um, we're with a French lady called Kat, a French guy called Martin, mm -hmm. a Belgium, what are they called Belgium people? Belgies, Bel. I don't know. A lady from Belgium uh, who's called Off, uh, and our team leader is called Annika. Annika, who's from America. Yeah. Uh, so it's quite a small group compared to the last group, but everyone seems really friendly. Just going to settle in for a couple of hours, and I'm then waiting for the owners to get back. Yeah, on. yeah, the owners have been away, but um, they live on site. They've literally built this from scratch. So really looking forward to meeting them. So now we're just going to relax for a couple of hours and then we've got some jobs to do this afternoon. So we've just come up into the main area where uh, where we have our food and we hang out and it is just the most amazing space. Like I just spoke to the gentleman that owns it. Like They've done such a good job. This is like our main hangout. We've got a pool table, we've got a bar and then we've also got a kitchen. We have to prepare breakfast and lunch for ourselves but then dinner gets made for us. We'll get a really nice dinner. Um, and we get, there's just so, so many options of food that we can have, like, so nice. And then this is our, our schedule, what you have to do. So you have birds, a meerkat, you've got the walks, you've got the cheetah camps, you've got the cells, you've got cleaning the tables. You've just got loads and loads of different jobs that you need to do. So your name just gets put on here each week. But have a look at this little beautiful thing. <laughs> this is called a, what are you going to tell me, babe? A devil cat. They are wild cats. Uh, now, I think the story was this was kept as a pet. Um, but we're just um, going to train her up. And when she gets a little bit bigger, she is going to get released back into the wild. So, so far, so good. Oh, my God. What a beautiful morning. We woke up. And the sun is shining. The views this morning are unreal. Now, I'm not actually that good this morning. I've just tried two of my tops on from the last project and they've shrunk them in the wash. One of them's my Hugo Boss top, which I absolutely love. And one of them's my volunteer top. So small. I lift my arms up, come up to my belly button. I am fuming. I can't believe it. So today, so we're going to be going around the whole project. We're going to see the meerkats the lions and all the cheetahs. Uh, so I just can't wait, like, we're proper buzzing for today. All right, so this afternoon, me and my French man, Martin, um, are gonna be uh, going in with uh, Shadow the cheetah. Now, Shadow is an OG here. Um, she's produced cub after cub after cub, like, loads of cheetahs in the wild. Uh, Shadow is the mother, so she is the OG here. Um, so I'm going to be going in, uh, cleaning, cleaning her area, giving her all fresh water. She's never going to have, be able to go back into the wild, which is a bit of a shame. Um, she's just far too old now. Um, but uh, she, yeah, she's she's such a nice cheater, so it'll be good. I'm nervous, but it should be should be good. Good nerves. I just need to try and find mine. I don't actually know where he's gone. 
Martin. So we found Martin. Martin was chopping meat when he should have been helping me. <laughs> but we've got everything we need. Got some soap, bucket, brush, and the poop scoop. So first job we need to clean our platform. This is where we give her our food, but it just needs to be cleaned every day just to stop all the flies and the insects. Just gotta make sure it's nice and clean, basically. Easy enough. Well, Martin has the poop job, but no poop. No poop. Just bones. Bones. No. Bones. Also, you can say bones now. You couldn't say bones before. Bones. Bones. Are <laughs> you getting good? And up. Nice. Look at that. This is our little house. And there's loads of hay in it, but I think she's weeding here, so we need to take everything out, scrub it all, let it dry, put new hay back in it. Um, so that she's nice and comfortable, it doesn't smell. One good thing about here is they are very clean, like everything gets cleaned every day. Um, all the pens, all the feeding areas, everything's constantly cleaned. All we do is clean, clean, clean. So keeps away the flies and it's just a better environment for the animals. Hey, and my French friend, the French nut, <coughs> Martin. Bless me. Uh, Sneezing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and action. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Martin, aka the French nut, here going to feed Shadow and also put some hay in his bed. Should we give it a good clean? Um, good work. Yeah, so we've had a good day today. Haven't we? Have you had a good day? Yeah, it's been really productive actually. Is that okay though? Still put it down? Yeah, go down here. Near this side. And then push it into the middle. She's fine. And then push her out the way a little bit. Wait, wait, wait. You just get a little bit. I don't know, at the end of the day, they, they are wild animals. Uh, but she is so placid and so cool, right? She's great. She's the mum for a lot of yeah, the yeah. other cheetahs here. Yeah. She's helped rehome or rewild lots of cheetahs. Mm. But she's an old girl now. How old is she? Yeah, I think she's maybe 12. 12, 13. But she's quite old. But Yeah. Right, let's go and... Good girl, Shadow. Let's go and do this. So we cleaned all his mats because he has all the mats down first and then the hay goes on top. No. Oh, second blow. Second blow. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have to spread it all out so she's got a nice bed. Fabulous. Oh. Oh, look at the hair, man. Sorry to all the viewers. Uh, so, this afternoon, me, Georgia, and our Belgian friend, Ophelia, are gonna be on Zulu walk. So we have to take the meerkats out um, for some rewilding. So they go out and take them on a little walk. They uh, start digging uh, for worms, and it's just a bit of engagement for them. Zulu, Zulu's uh, family died in a fire, so he's rescued um, and he can't be released. And how about Pablo? No, Pablo's just an orphan. Um, Pablo was an orphan, he come from a zoo. So it's a bit different from other animals. I don't think they're ever going to be rewild. Um, but we still take them out every day just for engagement in the wild and so they can get some natural worms and just get out really, get out and about. Here she is. <laughs> Here she is, the crazy Belgium lady. <laughs> but she sounds like she's oh, but she sounds like she's French, but she's from Belgium. Oh, I didn't know, did you know that in Belgium they speak French and they sound French and they basically act French. Do, no, do they want to be French? We speak French, but we have also a dialect. Oh, they have dialect, they reckon. So right, let's go, let's do this. Oh, look at them sit down. So this is their little pen. So Zulu can be carried down to the yeah, walking area <laughs> but 
but Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> this is Pablo. <laughs> but we take him down in his little box. So as we're walking, all Zulu wants to do is bite me, basically. He hates me. Look. He's just poking his little head under there. Ah. Just trying to bite me. Stop. Just be nice, Zulu. Even the meerkats don't like me. So we take him over to where all the horse poo and that gets tipped with all the hay because underneath there's loads and loads of worms and they absolutely go crazy for it. But if you watch, all he's going to want to do is come to me and try and get me. <laughs> and then Georgia has to rescue me. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You're digging for worms, otherwise you're going to be hungry. <laughs> so I've had to go and sit out of the way so Zulu don't come and attack me. Uh, it just disturbs their time where they just like need to dig for worms and stuff. He loves women, but he hates blokes. So just like to take this time. Uh, big thanks to everyone that's subscribing. But if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, really means a lot to us. And it helps more people see our content as we're traveling the world. Um, really hope you're enjoying the new series. Um, we're only two weeks into our time in South Africa. Uh, we've got so much more planned. We've still got another project to go to. Um, we're going to Cape Town. We're going to Durban. And then we're doing a three-week safari through Botswana. So still loads, loads more to come. So make sure you stay tuned. So I just made myself a bit of breakfast. Um, and this is the view we get to see while we're eating our breakfast in the mornings. Absolutely beautiful out here. It's just so peaceful. The only thing you can really hear is the, the dogs barking if someone comes onto the property or the lions roaring. Morning, guys. Uh, so this morning, uh, we've come up to the cheetah enclosure. Now, yesterday we fed them with wildebeest heads. Um, so this morning we've got to go and collect the skulls and clean all the pens, all the feeding pens, because uh, there's blood everywhere and they're really particular here about keeping everything like really clean and spot on. So that's our job for this morning. So this is my French protege, Martin, AKA the French nut. I know anyone of my friends back home will know I got a mate called Nut. Your French teacher. Yeah. Now, th yeah, this is my French teacher. Now, this man is exactly like Nut, but from France. Who is the French Nut? <laughs> but uh, I've been teaching him a few English words, and he's been teaching me a few French words. Um, so, over the next week or so, I'll be fluent in French. Yeah. Fluent in French. Fluent in French. <laughs> <laughs> so, me and Martin have drawn the short straw. There's flies everywhere. These two carcasses never really got out. And then, have a look in here. It looks like a massacre's happened. Murderer. But, big murder. But yeah. me and Martin will do it, won't we, Martin? Big murder. <laughs> Just have to keep scrubbing and scrubbing to get the blood off, basically. If you don't do it now, and then tomorrow it gets a little bit more blood. The next day it gets a little bit more blood and it will just turn filthy and disgusting so and there's loads of flies everywhere so you got to keep keep scrubbing and martin is the expert yeah <sighs> if i can uh, say something yeah uh, my favorite color is yellow <laughs> my dad is in the kitchen <laughs> and oh. i love blood <laughs> so what was the word you learned yesterday english uh, I learned tap. Tap? For Robinet. Yeah, for Robina. Robina in French is tap. And uh, bonds. And bonds. Bones. For uh, Zos. Zos? In French. Zos in French. So, he's doing good. Two words each day. So, I come over to this pen uh, to try and clean it, but there's a cheater in here eating. I'm not getting in there. <laughs> uh, so, just have to leave this one for later. Martin, to the next. To the next one. 
so Luca that arrived last night, the emergency case, he has broken his uh, toes in his front foot um, and he also has a massive sore on his back hip. He's limping a lot so we've just got to keep an eye on him. So he was at this project, he got released back into a game reserve and then now he's had some problems so they brought him back but the owners here aren't very happy with the way it's been dealt with and um, yeah so we're just trying to get to the bottom of it at the minute but yeah it was a bit of an emergency case last night that come in so it's pretty cool to see. And you can see that obviously Luca is hobbling uh, where he was injured and you can see at the back what they had to do, had to take some skin away and stuff. So he's really not very well boy. So Luca that come last night and Shadow that was just walking on the outside. Um, Shadow's the actual mum of uh, Luca, but uh, Luca is uh, giving a mating call and apparently they don't remember. Um, so they would actually mate if they had the opportunity, even though they're mother and son, which is a bit weird, but uh, it's incredible to see them like sort of walking along and talking and stuff like it's incredible so we are cutting the meat for the small cats uh, and this is the meat for the cheetahs uh, so there's quite a few cheetahs there's how many cheetahs 14 yeah. 14 cheetahs uh, so there's a lot of meat that's got to be prepared but no that's the big stuff. George is cutting the small stuff for the small cats. So first up, we're gonna go and feed the small cats and then we're gonna do the cheetahs. So it's a big feed day today. Feeding the caracal, rule 101, be quick. What's that, take your hand off. Yeah. Oh, just put it on the ground, yeah. And actually here, the crunching of the bone, they just destroy it all. They eat every single bit of this. Can you hear it? So now we're going to feed the cheetahs. Uh, there's 14 of these, and I think it's pretty fast paced. Uh, so we go on the back of the truck and just keep driving through and keep throwing the meat over. So we've just finished feeding the cheetahs uh, and just speaking to the owner, uh, saying it costs thousands and thousands to rehabilitate these cheetahs and then they put them back into game reserves and all they asked for was a small donation from the game reserves and the game reserves never give them a donation. So all the time and effort and money that they put in uh, and they don't get no money in return. So this is not for profit, anything they do here. It's literally for the love of the animals and these owners absolutely love the jack. Good morning, everyone. Now, 6.30 here. Um, had to get up a bit early this morning. I've um, got the job of doing the morning checks. So you need to get up, you need to go, you need to make sure all the lions are okay and all the small cats are okay. Uh, we're on a bit of a rotor scheme so everyone has different jobs this morning that's my job but all i can say is such a beautiful place to wake up in the morning like it's nice and warm uh just amazing I feel so blessed to be here so i've actually come down to do the small cat checks but all the all the pens are locked and I haven't got the keys. So uh, this is the first time I've ever done it. But as you can see, like, I'm so impressed with this place, like how well all their pens are and the sizes. Now this project is top, top quality. It really is good. Like the amount of money, the time, the effort that they've spent um, to build all the enclosures for the animals is just, is just unreal. So do the check for the lines. 
You've literally just got to come out here and call their names. Now, I know one of them's called Joe. And I know one of them's called Caesar. So, yeah, these three lions are two brothers and one sister. And they were going to be used uh, on a gaming reserve uh, to be shot, basically, for trophies. Uh, now, they're only little, um, little cubs. And uh, the owners here found out what was going to happen and actually brought them and uh, built a massive, now you've never seen an enclosure so big. This enclosure is huge for three lions. Um, so they brought them here and now they're about three years old, but they are beasts, I tell you, proper beasts. So that's a massive fowl. Haven't seen one small cat or one lion from my checks. I don't know, so I'm just going back to get the keys. So we've got the keys. Just went in to check the first uh, serval. And they're all right, they're not gonna come up to you, but just as you're walking around, like you just hear this hissing, like they just hiss at you. Um, so I pretty much shit myself and run out. Um, I didn't see it, but I heard it. <laughs> and I got his bulbs though, as a success. So that's the three servals done. Now the two uh, caracals, which, oh, there's one here. They're both looking at me here. So I know they're both here because I can see them. But I need to try and get their food bowls. And that one's standing well too close to the food bowl for me. Uh, so I'm going to go and get this one first. <laughs> so that's a success. I'm still alive. Now working my way up to check on the three lions. Hopefully, now I've got my bowls. They might come, come and show their faces. got them people I have got them hello good morning oh, I can see two but I can't see oh yeah I can see the third yes mission accomplished morning checks tick so this is the latest edition of cribs meerkats uh, we are going to show you where Zulu and Pablo live. Now, it's pretty cool this place. This is Pablo. Say hi. Hi. And this is Zulu. Come then, show us around. So they're little tires that they can climb. Come then boys. And then come to the back and this is where they sleep. So they've got like an old tire full of teddies. And they have a little uh, lamp to keep it warm at night. <laughs> and then over here, this is pretty cool. We've got this like enrichment wall so they can climb. There's all like pipes and wellies and baskets that they can go up. A little nest that they can lie in. Some little bird's nests up here if they fancy a climb. It's just like a right little playground for them. Yeah, yeah. love a belly rub. Oh, I'm 50-50. So some of the, uh, the training for the small cats, you have to uh, go in their pens and uh, sort of stimulate them. So you have to play with them uh, just to get them sort of like moving around and chasing stuff. The bossy is a serval cat uh, and he's only a baby. So we've got to come into his pen and just sort of train him and sort of play with him and get him used to being the outside but he's just so cool such a cool little cat so guys this is our last cheetah feed at running wild conservation uh we leave tomorrow afternoon a bit gutted to leave but you need to move on uh so don't forget to like subscribe follow us on instagram at packing places and we will see you in the next one